Hey guys, what's going on? I'm hoping you guys having a fantastic day. And actually, in trucking, I have a bunch of subjects that came up. And basically, it's not even about the vlogs anymore. Like, I rarely do vlogs. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll do them. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do more trucking vlogs. But right now, it's more informational videos, um, suggestions and stuff. I uh, really kind of stepped away from vlogs for a little bit. Uh, it's just that I've been going a lot of the same places, so it's kind of boring. And uh, that's why I'm doing vlogs uh, a little bit different. So it's just basically more suggestion videos. Now, um, I'm going to tell you guys, you guys, if you guys have YouTube Premium, this what these informational videos that I'm doing works very well because you guys can just turn off the phone and actually just uh, listen to it. But um, it makes it perfect for truckers, you know. Uh, when they're on the road but in this video before i continue please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell follow me on this these instagram pages and if you really like to donate to this channel please do it's gonna go to a better cause trust me um i need better equipment i need better gopros i need better uh camera equipment different cameras lighting microphones i need all that like i'm just still basic in youtube and all this i do need better stuff and uh yeah maybe if you guys and another benefit is if you donate to this channel i will buy a product and review it so whether it's cars or trucking my main focus on this channel is actually cars uh but in reality i still do trucking because i'm a truck driver now let's talk about rider uh rider penske same they're they're two different companies but they're they're about the same rates in terms of rental so my truck as you guys know it has broke down for over a month and at one point uh, the company where I was least actually renting a truck from, uh, they needed it, so I had to give up the truck, and I was without work for over a month. So, and I was looking into Ryder, so that's why I kind of went into the landscaping with my brother, and got paid like twelve bucks an hour. I know it's low compared to what I get paid on the road, but or even as a company driver. But uh, I had I had to deal with it, and actually got some good Christmas money. But anyway. Um, I was looking into a rider rental, and it depended where uh, what you do, trucking wise. Like, are you hauling propane? Are you hauling uh, step deck? Are you hauling flatbed? Are you hauling driving or reefer or whatever you're hauling asphalt or something? Or which what time of the year it is? What's the rates of what you're doing? All depends, because it's two hundred eighteen dollars a day. Um, now the rates go cheaper the longer you rent. But the problem is still on average about, let's just say, $200 a day. And if you run about, that's not talking about having your truck sit for the weekend for a 35-hour reset. Um, that's counting just the days you work. So the days you work is five days a week. That's a thousand bucks of rental. And me as an owner-operator, um, <sighs> drive-in, honestly, the market right now is not what it used to be. That's what I heard. Drive-in is actually um, drive-in is actually on the low side of rates right now. So if you make two thousand dollars on drive-in a week, clean money, that's actually pretty good for drive-in, and and that's if you own your own truck. Now, if you have to pay for rental, you're only getting paid a thousand dollars. May as well be company driver if you're doing rental rider. That's why it's good always to have a company that will allow you to rent or lease a truck from them while your truck is down, which is, I'm thankful for my company that I was on that was actually doing that. Uh, now, what do you call, um, that's why it's you gotta watch it. Like, if maybe I was doing heavy haul stuff or even step deck and I was making decent, like 4,000 a week clean, that's a different story than I could afford a rental. But if you think about it, if you're renting a truck, they're also going to include the days that you're off. Let's say you doing regional runs. Okay, regional runs, usually you start on a Monday or Tuesday and you come back on a Friday or Saturday. And then you have two to three days off or two and a half, depending on how you run. Especially on these dedicated runs, which are often regional. Um, problem is with that, instead of now $1,000, you are paying seven times 200, 1400 bucks for a week worth of rental. Now that's pretty darn expensive in my opinion. 
$100 a day is actually a good rate. Now, if you're paying $200 a day, it becomes a little, yeah, it becomes a little bit harder. So, basically, yeah, I would look into at what you're hauling and how much the rates are and where you're going. Now, if you're going to stay there on the road and run hard for a month, that's a different story. That changes the ball game up. So, when I was renting the truck from the company I'm leased onto, uh, I'm not going to tell you the rates or anything like that, but when I was uh, renting it, so I ran three trips to Texas hard. And with the third trip, I was able to fit in in two weeks. So it used to be like one trip a week, you pay the rental for a week. But three trips, so you got a, a third trip, just nothing but profit coming in, basically. That's where runs matter. So if you run hard for a month over the road or whatever you do in local work, I mean, it doesn't matter. If you run hard and don't take breaks, yeah, you're going to make money. It might be worth it. So you just got to do your research on whether when your truck is really broke down that you it's going to take a month or three months. In my case, it's like August, and this is December already at this time the video aired. And I haven't drove my truck for four months. I mean, I've drove it, but now with the load for four months so in this case you may if you know for sure how long your truck is going to take to fix in my case i didn't it's like every mechanic was telling me a different story then finally came to the conclusion i need to change my engine and i thought it would be a lot faster but then again i should have took a job because i didn't know it was going to take a month but anyway um so you got to do your research a lot it may not be worth it that's what I'm just trying to say. So basically, um, my suggestion, if your truck's going to be out for a month, try to find either some hourly job or take a vacation, depending on how much you got in your bank. I mean, even just just even having some kind of hourly job, no matter how low it is, to give you extra money, that's good. I mean, think about it. It may cover some sort of bill that is going to be bothering you or some kind of debt. So basically, yeah, don't do the mistake where I was not working for a month and finally got a job for two weeks landscaping which basically I have good ties with my brother and everything and got got a job like that through for temporary but or run as a company driver if you can uh, it just all depends on circumstances but I'm just here to tell you guys that rider rental may not be worth it so and guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe because when we're gonna hit a thousand subscribers the ball game's gonna change a whole lot better. I'm telling you, YouTube is a good place to actually create content and get paid for it. But I can't do it without your guys' support and clicking the subscribe button. All you gotta do is click the subscribe button. It's all masking. All right, guys, and that's it for the video. Keep on trucking.